Good morning, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Tired Axe Outdoors. We are out on the same spot we were out on yesterday, but we're gonna be doing some video today, whereas I was just out with the boys having fun. We caught a whole bunch of panfish. So today we're gonna try to break down this area a little bit and see if we can find some bigger fish. We did catch some, you know, eight, nine inch sunfish, uh, but the majority of them were small. So we're gonna see if we can break it down a little bit and uh, find the, where the bigger fish are in this immediate area. So we're gonna go ahead and get set up and we'll be back with you. Stay tuned. set up got the house up heats on it's uh 32 degrees out so we might be shutting that off because it's getting a little warm in here uh, my son's catching fish so we're gonna go ahead and see what we can do see if we can sort out some of the the bigger fish we're using a little bit larger jigs today than yesterday um you know four and five millimeter versus three millimeter and we're also using where you know i'm going to switch over to plastics and see if i can sort out he's got one on now here uh, see if we can sort out some of the bigger fish with the plastics versus the spikes. So we'll see what that does for us. Um, what do you think? How many have you caught so far? Probably around 10. 10 so far? Yeah, we've only been set up just for a few minutes. So I think it's going to be, you know, can another you good day today. Where's my towel? Your towel's on your lap. Oh, it is. Yep. He got fish spine on my nose. He got all of your spikes. We need to do some more put on here. So this is the fish I caught. First keeper. I'm to toss him back here. Inside that bag. There we go. Oh, I missed that one. So he's fishing with uh, some spikes on a clam snowdrop. And I've got a Wonder Bread jig on with a Mackie Plastics in hot pink. So he's definitely catching more fish than I am. Um, but like I said, we're trying to sort out, maybe see if we can get some of those eights and nines again. And Because uh, we were catching some yesterday. Yeah, we did. I would say, you know, not not even half, but, um, you know, we caught 40 fish yesterday. Just one after another after another. Um, but like I said, Probably today we're, right now. Yeah, today we're trying to sort out some of the, the more quality fish and, you know, bring some home for dinner. So flaying six-inch bluegill isn't all that much fun. <laughs> yeah how deep so we're sitting in 20 feet of water and the fish are suspended off the bottom all the way up to what 10 feet eight feet even eight feet yeah so they're up there pretty high i mean one one fish followed me up to pretty much around like four feet pretty much yeah So we're gonna see what can we can make happen. I think they're just pulling on those little tentacles on that Mackie plastic. So yesterday when we were out here, it was 43 degrees, 44 degrees. I mean, it was just beautiful. The sun was out. Today it's overcast, um, you, you know, me? right around 30 degrees. So quite a bit cooler, but I mean, it's, you know, the heater's on the low and it's it's plenty warm. I'm gonna hold the rod, buddy. Off my hands. There we go. So with him, what you want to do, so you hold him up, just grab right behind the eyes, okay? Uh -huh. And then you want to just grab the hook and just kind of tip it back and it pops right out. Ah, oh, thank you. You're welcome. Every time you do it, you'll get better at it, dude. Yes. So how, how deep are you fishing right now? I'm deeping around like 10 feet of water. Okay. Oh, missed him. <laughs> Literally, you just drop it. Like, even dropping it down, I was getting bites. You grab it right behind the ears, right? Yep. So you're going to reach in from the bottom, because then if he puts his fin up, he's not going to poke you, you know what I mean? Yeah, so you want to go like that. Mm -hmm. Like that. Yep. Yeah, it depends on how he's hooked. If he's hooked in the top lip, you just tip the jig head back towards his like forehead, right between his eyes, and then it should pop right out. But this one is this hook is not coming out. No. I need your help with this one. Can't see him. There you go. There you go. 
Thank you. You're welcome. I'm just gonna put a single waxy on here. Just to see if that helps. Yeah. As soon as you, if you put a, a spike on there, oh jeez, you're gonna be catching fish constantly. <laughs> But it seems like wax worms don't do very well right here. No? Because when I was helping those two people. Oh, yesterday? Yeah, yesterday. The, he, the, the younger one. So that's it. what my setup looks like right here. See if you can see it. So I just got that jig, Mackie plastic, and a wax worm. So we'll see what it'll do. I'll show you guys my setup in a second. We did have a front move in last night. The barometric pressure dropped quite a bit, obviously. Um, so, you know, so the fishing probably is going to be slower today than it was yesterday. But I don't know. No. Not so far, at least. About the same for you so far? Yep. All right. Obviously, I'm not catching them back to back to back yeah. immediately, but... Yesterday was crazy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Cut easily half, to, half over the limit. Yeah. Like, well, we didn't bring any home yesterday, no, so. No, but, yeah. 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 Hey, guys, my setup. This is my setup, pretty much. <laughs> Constantly have a fish on it, so. Right? Pretty much my setup nowadays. That's a good problem to have. He's actually kind of big. Not big enough to keep, but. Yeah, he's not bad, though. Stop. We don't start catching the little bit bigger ones. And we'll have there's one. That's little though. Oh, it's a perch. Look at that. Oh, you got a little perch. There you go. <laughs> Just a little guy. That was a go. nice little perch. Yeah, those cool. can come to this lake quite a bit just because it's 10 minutes from our house. I fish this lake a lot for bass in the summertime, so you'll see some videos of that uh, once we get the, the boat out of the snowbank. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And the snowbank st starts melting. Yep, exactly. Ice bank, I guess. The ice bank. So the plastics weren't working. I wasn't, I mean, they were hitting it and they were pulling on them. I think they're just too small where we're at. So, um, minus that perch that did get on it. But, uh, you know, I guess we'll see what happens here. I did switch over. I got wax worms. He's got spikes on. Um, you know, so the lures the fish. Yeah, we, we've got two eights, you know, so I mean, that's, I don't like bringing big home, fish home to fillet anyway, so um, this works out well, but we're still catching them. They're, they're, they're digging the, the, the live bait, aren't they? Yeah. The meat bait. Because yeah, they're coming all the way up to eight feet right now. A great spot to bring kids, you know, like I did yesterday. Uh, the, you know, the little guy was able to run around and have fun, and uh, we had a snowball fight. My father-in-law came out for a little while and uh, brought the boys some snacks. But uh, like I said, this is, yeah, we're on Crooked Lake, um, you know, right in the North Metro in Andover. And, yeah, you basically, if you, fish. if you look at the map and come out to, there's right from the boat landing, there's a where it points and comes out to 15 feet. Um, and then just punch some holes and find the the deepest spot, you know, that we're, we're sitting in and you'll find the fish, so. Make sure you to use spikes, because that's what's work. Yeah, they like spikes. Is that fish not dead yet? Spikes, straight out from a red house, so. Lots of fish out here. <laughs> Nothing big, but lots of fish. Let there be heat. You going? Yep. Nice. Oh, that's definitely a keeper. Ooh, that's a nice little sunfish. Yeah. Nice one, too. That's a really nice one. Let's heat up a little bit. I need your hook on. Cause yeah, and we've just got the, the small it. buddy heater. The standard buddy heater runs off one pounders. And then this 3i from Eskimo, it just uh, keeps it plenty warm. And we haven't been out on a real super cold day. Um, you know, well, I guess, you Coon know, Lake. five degrees, I think it was the one day on Coon Lake. Uh, well, the same day we lost our auger. Yep. But we got a new Eskimo auger. 
Yep, we got a new Eskimo auger from a anonymous friend. I left work for just a little bit on Friday and I came back and had a new auger. So whoever you are, thank you, appreciate it. And, yes, uh, we'll, tell, tell us who you are. Right, right. Um, we'll go ahead and I'll show you guys the auger um, here in a little bit once we, we get going. We'll make a, a quick video and we'll talk about it. So um, yeah. All right, there you go. Now I'm starting to get back into it. Oh, come on. Just a little guy. Yep, you can do it. Just go. Yep, go. Can you do that? Because I don't even Oop. know where the hook is. Pretty much almost doubles. That's a nice one. Yeah, this one. Assuming that's a keeper? That's a keeper. Yeah, they're just crushing these jigs. Yeah. Guys, <laughs> the one that's probably microscopic. Sometimes those little ones, they grab on and they run, they man. They do. They hit hard. That's what's fun about, you know, pan fishing. You know, I love catching, you know, walleyes and pike and obviously bass in the summertime. Well, wintertime too, but um, I just can't get enough of pan fish. I love getting into a good crappie bite and... Uh, just catching piles of panfish, sunfish, whatever. It's awesome. There's one. Nice. Ooh, another decent one. Yeah. All yeah. right. So maybe some bigger fish are moving in here. How many we got now? Three. And this is three keepers. Yeah, three or four, I think, in there. Oh. Oh, a perch. Perch. Nice. Man, they really like to dance. Yeah, they do. Perch are a lot of fun. Stop dancing. Especially if you can get into some big ones. So where do I grab the perch? Oh, missed it. Um, just from the belly, just like with the sunfish. All right. If it's hooked on the top lip, you can hold the. Missed yeah, it. It's hooked up on the top. Yeah, so you can hold it from his bottom lip if his if you can get your finger in his mouth. There we go. That's a nice little perch. Yeah. There's one. Ow! Jeez, for crying out loud, they have sharp spikes. <laughs> oh, it hurts so much. It's their, well, it's how they protect themselves. Think about if you were a bass and you went to go bite one and he shot his spikes into your mouth, you'd, you'd let go real quick. Go get spiked by per by perch. It hurts. <laughs> Literally, my hand is stinging right now. She started picking up a little bit, uh, but so did the bite. So we ended up getting into some, you know, eights and nines, got uh, eight or nine, something like that to bring home and, and eat for dinner and uh, put some food on the table for the family. So that's what's important. Uh, what was your favorite part of the trip, dude? My favorite part was probably the ice house. The ice house is nice. I love that ice house. Yeah, it's super warm. I mean, it's not cold out today, but it, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's it's changed the way we fish, set, you know, from the old clam suitcase styles. Uh, yeah, it's pretty slick. Yeah. That was epic. <laughs> it was epic. Yep. C comparing to our the first one that I remember, that lime green one. The lime, yeah. That we had was... an old otter traveler um, that you had like assemble all the poles and these hub houses, they've just come such a long way. Yeah. That's with a lot of stuff with ice fishing yeah. right now. I mean, when I started, when I was his age, you know, the, the they technology. Didn't have, they didn't have raw reels. Yeah. They just well, sticks. yeah. <laughs> there were some out there. I'm not that old, but yeah. Uh, we didn't have anything when I was a kid like that. You know, it was just the, the sticks with the little pegs sticking out of them and a graphite tip, and that's what we had. So uh, it worked. But uh, today it's a whole different world. Yeah. Good. All right, dude. Let's get out of here. All right. All right, guys, thanks for watching another episode of Tired Axe Outdoors. We really appreciate it, and uh, please follow along on Instagram. Subscribe to my Instagram feed. You can also check us out on YouTube. Uh, post all the videos on there, but our, our emphasis is on Instagram. So uh, please keep along with us there, and uh, we appreciate it. All right, see you next time. Bye-bye.